Crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. I can show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? Most people in this world spend their entire lives just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakavasha, I am your future. First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Oh, why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Your... eyes... Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes... And Mama Thung... No, no. It... It can't... There aren't any Aftons left.
especially since the flavor of the drink syrup is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone, and relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls? <laughs> Not a likely fate. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. <laughs> especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, when everyone thinks this way, who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on, tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You want so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips. For dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience, you fool yourself too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me anyway. Dead. 
drifting and all that muddy water. Completely wrong with that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. It's not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. Well, your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. That child... Could he be in here? Is this... A topaz? What is this doing here? <laughs> what? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart, so? <sighs> I was merely curious at why it was here. Just bait. Of course. That's why Horatio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. We spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind? <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem is... Jade. 
Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Oh, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panicoli, offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Take it out. Let's have a look. <laughs> Suddenly you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine Stone before you left? Oh, just look at it. Shattered. Just like your life. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous shape. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoth's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot-free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Every step you take involves reckless risks, and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction. If you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the rewards, I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IPC. <laughs> there is so much you don't see. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is... We'll just have to wait and see, then. Ugh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Huh? Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there, too. The four of us were just playing hide-and-seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. <laughs> I think you mean film. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. I'm <laughs> sure. Go give it a try, Miss.
How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over, and I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? <laughs> is this? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... Shut up! Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tonnes. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it, because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? Oh, that's right. You love the thrill of danger. But you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. Not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. <laughs> you could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? But did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> Every 
everything. You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry, a necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Uh, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops, and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told me to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream to create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you've stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play, the fabulous Robin loses her voice, two unsolved murders, cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head-to-head -head with Sunday himself. And the only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose, exactly? We'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? <sighs> So quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? <sighs> finally, made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet.
one plate. feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. They really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? I don't know. You do know. But there's no point pressing the issue. <laughs> Admit it. You're tired. We all are. Which is why we chose to stay here. Me... and him. Your past... and future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. This is the greatest honor that we can offer to those who hurtle towards death. The road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want... What? is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red hot chains and spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. 
It's that simple. That way, the IBC will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sleep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death, and its curtains will fall on another death. <laughs> oh, so that's why Diamond chose you. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. Don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why? Must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths, then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? Maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Fine. Time to make a move, my friend. I'll be waiting up ahead. Say goodbye to the kid before you shuffle off. It's... Best to die without regrets. <sighs> Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go then. I'll take you to the stage. <laughs> sure. So you're an actor? No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a... merchant. <laughs> but I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> I 
can become as good looking as you when I grow up. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. Behind this curtain is the grand stage. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gyathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. <laughs> of course I know. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The Catechins are coming. Why? The Catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. This is a trick, an act of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. I know the Afton will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do Catkins know, this time, we will fight back. The men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The Catkins stand no chance against them, and will surely pay for their arrogance. Without this rain, the Catkins would never take action, and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. But... but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. She will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. For us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful and your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Abjim, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. 
The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology, to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. Kakavasha? to begin. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. I'm March 7th. I'm sure he needs no introduction, as you definitely know him. Uh... Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Welt has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. Miss Acheron here doesn't present a danger, and she's of no threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before we continue working together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Panacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. You're talking weird again. But it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out, then! But where do we start looking for him? No need to rush. If he truly has laid a trap, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen, the most wondrous, most magnificent 
show that Panacone's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites you to the Clock Studio Theme Park. <laughs> Look. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? Let's waste no time and head to the theme park, then! Mr. Yang. Hmm? Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's just like you said. Uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story. Not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you. And my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. To reciprocate. In the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, I will stand with you, if my meager strength is required. Again, Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Oh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Astral Express, you're late, and this 